In my nearest supermarket, I couldn't find mascarpone cheese. And in this current situation, I don't want my husband to roam around the city and find it. So I thought, give it a try making myself. And to my surprise, it came out really, really well. And let me tell you one more thing. It was better than the store bought in many ways. It was way cheaper, tastier and fresh. Just two ingredients and 15 minutes of preparation. So let's start making some cheese. In a pan I took two cups of cream. Here I used clotted cream that is same as our malai. You can use fresh cream, double cream, whipping cream, anything you have. But make sure you use full fat cream. Then we need 2 tablespoons lemon juice as well. Then switch on the flame and heat the cream. When our cream start getting boiled like bubbles on the sides, add our lemon juice. Mix well and continue to cook on low flame. While it is getting cooked, I took a bowl and strainer and kept a cheesecloth like this. If you have no cheesecloth, you can use thin kitchen towel as well. You need to just stir in between. Let it get thickened a bit. I cooked it for about 8 to 10 minutes. Then let's take it off from the flame. Then I took some cold water in a bowl and kept our pan like so, so that it will cool down a bit quickly. When the cream mix became little warm, I transferred them to the cheesecloth. Just close it like so and keep it in the refrigerator for about 12 hours or overnight. It's been around 12 hours now. Our cheese is ready. It will be a bit firm right out of the fridge. See I got very little whey, only this much. Now let me transfer them to a bowl. I'll show you how it looked when I kept at the countertop for an hour. See they are so soft and creamy. You can use this to make your tiramisu cheesecake but in my next video I am gonna show you very very delicious dessert I made using this cheese so stay tuned and click on the bell icon to get notified I hope this video was helpful for you thank you so much for watching see you in the next video